A number of recent studies have shown that GMOs are now 125 times more deadly than previously thought, and that is having a profound impact on humans at the cellular level. Within the cells of plants and animals are tiny organelles called mitochondria, which provide energy to the organism, and they are under an increasing threat. Mitochondria convert glucose sugars into the fuel that allows cells to replicate, perform their assigned tasks, protect and repair themselves. In other words, to live. Quite an important role for the little mitochondria, or perhaps we should call them mitochondria. These cellular superheroes do amazing things for our body, but they are vulnerable. Certain toxins can damage our mitochondria with dire consequences. What happens to our bodies when our mitochondria don't work properly shows just how central they are to human life. Mitochondrial dysfunction has been linked to cancer, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, bipolar disorder, diabetes, autism, and many other conditions. One toxin has been shown to be particularly harmful to our mitochondria, glyphosate. Glyphosate is the primary ingredient used in the popular herbicide Roundup. Strong evidence suggests that the glyphosate in our body initiates toxic changes in our mitochondria, disrupting their ability to do their vital work and seriously compromising our health. And the scary thing is, the use of glyphosate has increased exponentially over the last few decades. Most GMO crops were engineered to withstand the presence of toxic pesticides. This technology was sold to the public based on the lie that this would decrease pesticide use, but the opposite is proven true. On the three biggest GE crops, glyphosate use increased from 15 million pounds in 1996 to 159 million pounds in 2012. As glyphosate becomes more and more prevalent, the weeds that it is intended to kill are becoming increasingly resistant to the poison. This has led farmers to douse their crops not just with more and more glyphosate, but other toxic pesticides as well. Overall pesticide use has increased 26% between 2001 and 2010. We are involved in an arms race with the natural world, but who are the losers? So the use of glyphosate on the food we eat is skyrocketing, so much so that three recent studies have shown a frightening fact. Unsafe levels of glyphosate are now present in human urine, blood, and even breast milk. But there's more. Most of the poison that is sprayed is a combination of glyphosate with other ingredients. As we mentioned before, scientists have found that these additives make glyphosate 125 times more effective at disrupting the proper function of mitochondria. And do you remember what that causes? Cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease? Well, you get the picture. Something needs to be done. We allow biotech companies to dump millions of tons of poison onto our farms, which find their way into our soil, our water, and our bodies. Our mitochondria that perform so many vital functions cannot continue to do their work properly if we continue to poison them. The situation won't change by itself. Biotech companies are making way too much money. In 2013, 10.3 billion of Monsanto's 14.9 billion in total sales came from its seeds and genetic modifications. Biotech companies don't even want to tell us if their foods have GMOs in them at all, spending millions to defeat mandatory GMO labeling efforts at the state and federal level. It is imperative that we begin to decrease the impact of this dangerous technology on our environment. Our mighty chondria and perhaps our very existence may depend on it. Join us in this fight. Please click the link to take action.